Hello everyone, this is Ravinder Dundra and welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will continue the topic from class 9th CBSC Economics, that is the story of village Palampur. In the previous lectures, we have discussed about this introduction and overview of the chapter. What is where this Palampur is located and what are the uh, what is the features of this village? What is the road condition like electricity connection as well as irrigation facilities, health centers, schools? So everything we have discussed about this Palampur. And we have also discussed that the main aim of the uh, chapter is to discuss the factors of production by taking an example or an imaginary village known as this Palampur. And in the previous lectures, we have also discussed about this or, uh, factors of production such as land, labor, physical capital as well as this human capital. Under physical capital, we have discussed about working capital as well as fixed capital. And we have also discussed in that uh, about this land is fixed one of the topic in the st uh, story that means the fixed uh, there is a fixed land in this village where there is no chance of increasing the size of the uh, land and the next question arises is that is there a way one can grow more from the same land so in the previous lecture what i have where i have stopped is that is there any chance that we can increase the production or we can improve the production process or we can improve the output on the same amount of land or the same size of the land so let us discuss is there any way so if you can see is there a way one can grow more on the same land and the answer is yes then how it is possible what is the way we can in which we can improve this production so there are mainly two ways in which this to, this village Palampur is following to increase this production. What are these two ways? One is multiple cropping. The second one is this modern farming for methods. So first, let us discuss about this. What is this multiple cropping? Multiple cropping means what? Uh, what is that? You can see to grow more than one crop on the same piece of land in a year. For example, there is a land you can take. So in a single year, if we grow more than one crop, we can call it as this multiple cropping for example you can take the beginning of this monsoon season you can grow this uh, rice and after that after the end of this monsoon season you can grow other pulses so like this within the same year on a same piece of land if you can grow more than one crop we call it as this multiple cropping and in the story given about this palampur what they are following is that they are following this multiple cropping if you can see the beginning of the season that means during the monsoon season or karif season they are going crops such as basra as well as uh, jowar then after that during the months of october and uh, december they are going for this potato and during the winter months they are going for this rabi crop that is wheat so if you can see within the single year they are not keeping the land like uncultivated within the year they are adding or they are cultivating more than one crop that means you can say this these people are following this multiple cropping and how it is possible in this village is that they have this uh, proper irrigation technology or irrigation methods are there each and every land in the in the village is connected to a well irrigation system and then you can ask how they are able to connect this well irrigation system is that they have proper electricity supply as i have told in the previous lecture that they have a proper very good electric electricity supply so with that electric supply they have set up all this irrigation system and with with that irrigation system they are able to grow this multiple crops in a single year so this is one way we can improve the production on a same size of the land then what is the second one the second one says about this modern farming methods and what are this modern farming methods what is the main aim of this modern farming methods is that it is for higher yield yield means what output produced in a land or in a fixed amount of fixed size of the land so each and every farmer they always try to aim for only one thing that is to increase their yield or to improve their output to increase in their output but how it is possible how they can follow is that they can follow some of the modern farming methods modern technology in which they can improve the production so how they can improve what is the modern technology here they have used in this village the story is that these farmers they have used something known as this hyv seeds during this 1960s itself what do you mean by this hyv seeds hyv seeds means high yielding variety of 
seeds so the, if you can use this hyb seeds we can actually improve our production and this hyb seeds were brought in during this something known as green revolution which was brought by ms swaminathan in india who is also known as the father of green revolution in the year 1960s so in this uh, because uh, this green revolution has brought a new variety of seeds they are hyb seeds and this hyb seeds can improve more and more output but what are the states initially which have improved this or which have followed this green revolution was that the states which have followed this green revolution were punjab haryana western uttar pradesh who tried the hyb seeds and the other very important thing is that this hyb seeds they require plenty of water at the same time more and more number of fertilizers and pesticides and it is not properly implemented everywhere in the country it was mainly implemented in the states such as punjab haryana western uttar pradesh so only in these states they have followed this hyb seeds but after using this hyb seeds there was a lot of improvement in the production that means during before they have used traditional seeds they got the output used to get only 1300 kg but now it has improved to 3200 kg that means you can see how much change in the production that means it is just because of this hyb seeds so farmers they have slowly started adopting this hyb seeds in their farming method by which they used to improve their production but the next question arises question number 3 will the land sustain that means will land survive if we can use this methods of farming for modern farm, uh, farming methods as well as if we follow this multiple cropping so now let us see about this whether the land will sustain or not let us discuss about the next question that is will the land survive that means will the land can survive or will the land can sustain if we can use modern methods of farming for that what the scientific report says is that scientific reports indicate that modern farming methods have overused natural resources that means what is happening whenever we are following this modern methods of farming we are actually overusing more than required or we are overusing this natural resources how we are overusing is that if we can take this green revolution as well as this hyb seeds this hyb seeds they mainly require this what is that what i have told they mainly require more fertilizers and pesticides at the same time they require more water but because of this overuse of this fertilizers and water ground water especially what is happening is that the soil is losing its fertility loss of soil fertility why because if we keep on adding more and more chemicals more and more chemical fertilizers pesticides what will happen is that the land will lose its fertility or the soil will lose its fertility then at the same time if we use more and more water from where we get all every uh, uh, irrigation requirement will not be fulfilled by the rain therefore we may extract the water from ground so what is happening is that we are also losing this ground water levels or we are also you can say there is a depletion of water table or depletion of ground water so this is one of the main disadvantage of this hyb seeds which are also causing this damage to the land how they are causing by losing the soil fertility of the land at the same time they are also causing for depletion of this ground water and once destroyed as you all know that it is very difficult to restore them you all know once if you if all the once ground water is exhausted we cannot restore it immediately at the same time once the soil loses its fertility it is not difficult to restore the fertility of the soil therefore what we have got we can conclude is that if we use more and more modern methods of farming such as seeds of like hyb seeds it is very difficult to gain the soil fertility and we may also lose this ground water so there is some pressure on this natural resources so that is about this whether land will survive or not then the next one is about this how is the land distributed between the farmers of palampur that means who are having more land which families are having less land so who do not have land so if you can see as i have already told that there are 450 families are there in this village and out of this one third of the families are landless one third means total 150 families 
they are not having any kind of land in that 150 families most of them were actually dalits as i have told more than 80 families were there in this uh, what is that palampur which belongs to this dalits so these people they do not have any kind of land they are usually landless people then 240 families they cultivate less than two hectares of the land that means they are also you can con consider them as small as well as medium farmers not even medium only small farmers why because they do not have land more than two hectares of two hectares so out of 450 families 150 families are landless and remaining families in that remaining one 240 families are cultivating only two hectares are lesser than two hectares of land and remaining 60 families they are medium and large farmers having the land of more than two hectares and even there are some farmers are there in this village who are having more than 10 hectares of land so that means what we can conclude from this uh, is that the land is unevenly distributed in this village some people are having more land some people are having less land and some group of people in this village they don't even have any kind of land so we can again say that the land is not properly distributed not equally distributed or you can say it is unevenly distributed so in the next lecture lecture we will discuss about who will provide the labor in this village the next question okay thank you